Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Uriah Shelton about Blumhouse Television and Epic's film Unhuman, going to be available on digital June 3rd. Welcome to the show, man. It's good to see you. Thanks for having me, man. I'm happy to be here. It's exciting. I mean, you know, it's pretty cool because I feel like one of the coolest things now about like storytelling is this kind of landscape of genre bending content. And I feel like you get it with this film a lot. Did you notice that you had a lot of kind of genres at play with Unhuman early on, Uriah? You know, the more the script developed, um, because we, we had some rewrites in there that were all just on point, um, yeah. the more I was able to see that. Um, I think that a lot of horror can kind of get too down and too dark on itself, at least for my taste, man. It's like, it's like when you're eating so much sugar, you know, you gotta, you gotta cut it with something like, milk, you know, <laughs> you gotta have like some funny stuff in there. Um, and I feel like that we really did bend a lot of genres. We had the horror, we had the coming of age, we had comedy, we had camp, um, you know, and I feel like Blumhouse does that really well. They, they have a really good feel on the balance of where it all. And, uh, well, you also, you worked, you worked on freaky. I did. And that had a little bit of like that. Well, that was genre bending as well. Like that had some funny moments. I don't know if there's some moments in that were like, I don't know if it was like, like uh, trying to be funny, but like there were some like, la like laughs in that movie too. <laughs> Honestly, we didn't even have to try. A lot of it was just so ridiculous that we were, it, was, that it just came across the screen, man. I mean, you know, the scene with me and Vince in the car, um, yeah. we shot that in one take. It was a one shot and it played so well. I, I was so happy with it. Yeah. It's, um, it's... I personally, I personally love it when you, we can do that horror camp, you know, like that yeah. horror comedy. Uh, I, I feel like it just plays so well. Well, you, you, you all hit it out of the park with this film and human. I mean, you know, I just want to know kind of when you were all kind of in that bus and like everyone's talking to each other, what's kind of the game plan or discussions before kind of doing takes because so much kind of happens in that bus. And then like you leave the bus, like what's, what's kind of, what are you saying to all your castmates? Like before takes like that? Honestly. So <laughs> we, we had a lot of, uh, a lot of stunt coordination to make sure that nobody got hurt. That's yeah. always the big priority especially with Blumhouse they're always making sure that everybody's safe um and uh besides that you know we we got our stage direction uh <laughs> we knew what to do and we were just hanging out in the butt it was hot as hell in that <laughs> bus though man I was sweating my butt off dude it is it's, it's so crazy um do you think, I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, you look at yourself, you look at Brienne, you look at Drew, you've all kind of worked in the horror genre before and everything. Is that just kind of testament that it's just a fun genre to kind of work in right now, Uriah? It really, I mean, honestly, it is one of the more fun genres that I've, that I've been in. Um, I, with I, I've, done, I've done an action before and I love action. I love yeah. it. But you don't get hurt as much uh, in horror <laughs> as you do action. Um, you know, the you end up with this really cool level of humanity. The one yeah. thing I love about horror is that it really strips away all the mass that everybody puts up, you know? So at the, at the beginning of a movie, you see the characters as they present themselves to the world. And then some crazy event happens that strips away their projections and you're just left with the bare essence of who they are. And I think that that makes the genre really exciting to me, man. You, you get to really dive deep into some characters and then show you know what they're made of the big kind of thing at play with unhuman obviously you know we mentioned like the genre bending it's it's everywhere in this film but the survival obviously component the zombie component is like the focal point and everything i feel like <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> if we would pick like one genre it's like <laughs> oh, like survival you know what i mean yeah um, it's, it's definitely <laughs> There's a lot of, I'm just curious from the kind of the storyteller kind of acting perspective. I mean, what's that like playing in a kind of world where you kind of have to adapt and survive and, you know, your character is kind of thrown in with other people that you might not see kind of eye to eye with, but it's kind of a unique situation because if you want to survive, you have to like stick you together. together. <laughs> you see what happens when you don't. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think it's really, uh, 
I think you, I think you touched on something really great there. I think you know you get these people from these different classes in high school, and uh, not just classes, but you know social classes as well. Um, and you throw them in this horrible, horrible event that they're all bound by, but they're all together. Normally, they wouldn't even associate with each other in the first place, but they're all here in this. And you see how they either fail or succeed. And, you know, you see all the aspects that, you know, tear them down and build them up. And I yeah. think it's really cool exploration. I feel like that's such a, like, that's one of my favorite things about kind of these survival shows and movies where the communal component just stands out to me, Uri, because it's like, they have no choice. Like you really, you really have no choice. And some get it more than, some characters get it more than others. <laughs> my character does not. I even left my girlfriend. Like, <laughs> I was out of that bus before she was, and I was not looking back, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you see that and you see how it, uh, you see that it's like that whole thing. If you see what someone's really made of, as soon as you apply heat on somebody, uh, you know, whatever they want to project isn't necessarily what's going to stick around. They're just, they're bare essence at that point, And it strips away everything else. Absolutely. Uriah Shelton is a storyteller. That's what you do. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's, that's what you do. What excites you specifically about storytelling? You know what? I, I was actually talking to my agent about this the other day. Um, I really like showing uh, human pain. Um, yeah. I've, I've experienced a, a load of it from, you know, everything from being in the industry at an early age to being in some horrible accidents. I've had my intestines ripped out of me. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've broken about 15, 17 different bones and, uh, you know, like I've got, I'm covered in scars and, uh, you know, there's the there's the physical aspect of that, but there's also the psychological aspect of it, of being able to deal with going through those kinds of things and and not be permanently broken by it and rebuilding yourself. Um, that's what I really like. Those are the kind of stories I like. I like being able to to take somebody and just expose them, whether people agree with them, whether people like them or not. I just like being able to show the world what some what what a character's made of. To that's all you can ask for. To add to that a little bit too, Uriah, I, is it also the ability because of kind of streaming services and so much kind of event, like areas to kind of put content out there, there's the ability for a lot of those stories to get out there now more than ever too, which is a really good point, right? You know, I, the one thing about, I love the streaming services. I mean, Netflix, Hulu, Disney yeah. Plus, uh, Prime. Um, I feel like we ended up getting in this kind of monopoly state uh, a, a ways back where, you know, it was really hard for other studios to break into the industry. It was yeah. really hard for them to get their stuff seen. Mm -hmm. uh, streaming services really just brought it to the masses. I mean, like everything from, you know, foreign films uh, to, you know, indie art house films, you know, to, to even the big motion pictures. Uh, yeah. It allows people to tell stories on a stage where they would not have been able to in the first place, you know? Absolutely. You're right. Thank you so much for, take, for taking some time to chat on Pop Turner about Unhuman, which is going to be available June 3rd. It was so great chatting with you, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, man. I had a blast. So people can check out the film. It's going to be available on digital on the 3rd. And uh, they can keep update with you on Instagram, right? I believe that's where you're mostly active if they want to check out that's stuff. That's me, yeah. At Uriah Justice. And uh, if you watch the movie, make some memes of me and troll me. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you, <laughs> this has been Pop Turner, YouTube.com slash Pop Turnative for previous episodes. Look out for Uriah Shelton and Unhuman, available very soon. Until next time, this is Uriah and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.